Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today we're in Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to be showing you how to use the knife tool. So if you go over to your toolbar and you go over and you probably will see your eraser tool. Uh, if you click and hold on that, you'll see the scissor tool as well as the knife tool. Uh, the other two I will uh, do videos on at a later time, but right now we're going to focus on the knife tool. So when you use the knife tool within Adobe Illustrator, and I'm going to go ahead and use it on this rectangle that I have already drawn out. If I go ahead and draw that line there, it's going to be just like if I was using a regular knife on uh, something that can be cut in two. So what that means is now this object here becomes two different objects. So now I can select this object click and drag it and it becomes its own object as well as the other piece and I can move them around I can color them different so it's almost as if I'm slicing them into literally with a knife so I'm gonna go ahead and undo all of that now if you look over here at this polygon this is what the knife tool is used for a lot within Illustrator if you have an object or a piece of art that you are working on within Adobe Illustrator. You can use the knife tool like I have here to draw a line or cut it in half with the knife and then leave that shape alone. Do not move it around and then use different colors to add shading and lighting effects to that object by just applying a nice little cut effect with the knife and then applying a different fill color to that object. So in order to do that you'll just click on the knife and then here we'll go ahead and do a nice little cut with the knife and you want to go from one end of it to the other end of it and then once you're done with that go ahead and grab your selection tool and then go ahead and select the piece that you want to add another color to so I'm gonna go ahead and make this a nice darker green color now this is only gonna work if your stroke color is set to nothing or you have no stroke color so in order to do that just select the object and then go ahead and go up here to your stroke color and then change it to the none option right up here now if we select off it looks as if that color is fading into another one obviously you can do more detailed stuff with that if you go ahead and play with it and you play with the gradients and things like that so that's a basic rundown on how to use the knife tool within Adobe Illustrator if you have any questions on how to go about doing that go ahead and put those in the comment box below I'll get to them as soon as I can if you want more content and tech technology tutorials like this go ahead and let me know by liking this video subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time <laughs>